Yo, what's going on, guys? Mike the Outsider back in the video. Today, we are playing more College Football Revamped, aka NCAA 2023 or 24, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's nearly fucking Christmas. Merry fucking holidays. I don't you know. Fucking happy Kwanzaa. Today, we're going to be doing a rebuild and um, going to be doing it on the South Carolina Gamecocks because everyone loves rockets shooting up and their chickens getting now anyways I'll, I'll i'll meet you guys back once we're uh at, at the actual screen yeah also while while we're actually here um I, i'm not really sure what playbook to use or what kind of team i want to make them but i think i want to be fucking air raid so uh um, best bet for that is probably texas tech then just go like super super heavy in the pass pretty aggressive probably sub pretty often and then defense, I don't really fucking care. Multiple, I guess. And, uh, yeah. I'll meet you there in a second. Alright, so now the, the last 10 minutes of my life are, um, all the updated schedules and conferences and everything like that. It's all good. Now let's jump into recruiting. As you can see, we already have, as I talked, because I'm stupid and don't know how to space out time at all because I'm stupid. Anyways, uh, five-star tight end? What the fuck? I mean, I know we're in the SEC, but Jesus Christ, I feel like I don't ever fucking see that. <laughs> First team interest from fucking William Radley Hiles. What a name. Let's come from fucking Pennsylvania to fucking South Carolina. I don't know, man. We're gonna have a pretty explosive fucking offense, I guess. Gonna be exploding all over the competition. Hopefully we don't choke too much, though. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. Just trying to fill up our recruiting board real quick. Straight start fullback. Too bad I don't like using fullbacks, especially. Okay, we just have too much talent. Alright, that's fine. 25 is where I like to call it. Oh, yeah. I started out so that's level 1. Man, went down 10 just from one week of fucking scouting. Man, the Titans fucking suck. Alright, JB Boston, you're, ju you're just done. I'm going down to a 61 overall, bro. Same with Chase Longstreet going down to a fucking 62. Jesus, fuck. Everything will be set off to set, set to off. So I will be doing all the recruiting and everything like that. So don't worry. Uh, let's see what we can redshirt. Got freshman QB. Freshman running back. Hopefully these players don't transfer. Freshman wide receiver. Freshman tight end that isn't fucking 60 overall. Two freshman guards. Another freshman guard. Oh, um, Meo Zulu. What a last name. Also getting registered though. Okay, first year we might be a little trash. Kai Croker, are you related to that dude from Nickelback? I mean, you don't really look like a Chad, but you never know. Oh, Jesus, custom schedule. Uh, got Georgia Week 2. Then you got FPS. Then you got Mississippi State. Then you got Baylor. Kentucky, Arkansas, Tennessee, Missouri, Vandy, Florida, Texas, and then ending out the year with Clemson. Damn. That's tough. I already have some recruits ready to visit after just the fucking off season. So let's get this out of the way, I guess. Probably schedule versus Vandy. Only because Vandy is trash. Man, we're already behind like really badly on Marvis. Go 500 in DM. 500 in DM. Judging by just scouting. Probably QB. 500 because offensive line. Corners were really bad at, so. Outside linebacker, same deal. Guard. Because offensive line. Le'Veon Turf. You from Louisiana? I from Flower. Yeah, sounds about right. How are we so behind on so many players already? That's my question. And like usual, these flats are just getting ignored. Alright, then I'll meet back for week three for uh, some low lock. Honestly, I just want to see if we get fucking destroyed by fucking Georgia, though. Because Georgia ain't fucking easy to be in this fucking dynasty. No matter what fucking follow you're using. Because it's all fucking updated shit. As long as we can keep it close, though, it gives me optimism for the future. Yeah. 17 points against Georgia, I mean... Ain't bad, ain't good. Hopefully against FPS, we, uh... Kind of... Toss them out of the fucking club a bit though. Maybe even get to tossing our salad, who knows. Got more recruits ready to visit, so I like to see. Are we falling behind them? No, we're going up. We're losing 985. Best just to remove our points and put them somewhere else. First Randall will put five on. Uh, go like 115 to Kilroy. Actually, let, let, me, let me just get these guys scouted. So bad, but like, we ain't really got much. Yeah, 110. 
35. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and add some uh, low luck recruits and then I'll meet you guys back. Dantravis. It's a weird name and weird way to spell Dantravis. Not Dantravius. Nah. Jasmine Ferentz. <laughs> Son or grandson even of Kirk Ferentz, the uh, current Iowa head coach. Or son of his son, Scott Ferentz. I, I added a couple players to the board, obviously. The last one that I had was Scott. Or no, uh, Jasmine, pardon me. Low love, flamboyant, low flower. But uh, that's usually what I like to do is just like take people all the way down if I'm over a thousand. Now with you, we're going up, okay. You were losing 10. You I haven't even fucking done anything with, so uh... Let's go. You guys a little bit. You, you'll get 500 because we do need a kicker. You are... I'm intrigued, but it's probably not anything special. So I'll put 110 to you. And the rest. So the last 85 goes into you, and then... Are we... We're going up a whole 10, 15. A whole 15, pardon me. So I'll actually... I'll stay in that one a little bit more. Same with that one. Allows me to put 500 into you. Put more into Don Travis. Or Don Travis, pardon me. And Carlino St. Julian. Because I don't, I'm not, I don't understand what these names are. But, uh... Something about... Actually, let, let me check if uh, players are ready to visit. I don't think I set that up. You guys, I understand I probably don't need to do this every single fucking week, but like... Fuck you, it's my video. I think I'll just keep this to like, two years per... Hey, 52 points against FPS. Not bad. But I think I'll keep this to like, two seasons per episode. Just because I feel like... I want to do a little more in-depth with the team. And, um... my honestly do like a whole on like, ultra rebuild though. Where like after four seasons. So going into that season five, you transfer as we beat Mississippi State. Now, I, I, don't, I don't like how we're only putting up 21 points. So I think I might have had like, because NCAA is weird, apparently. And the sliders are opposite. So one way, like the run pass frequency, if you are all the way to as we beat Baylor. No, I, I was worried about that game. Just Ted. I'm getting way sidetracked. Uh, halfway point, I'll check our stats, see what a rushing versus passing stats look like. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this to two seasons per episode, and then after the second episode is finished, we'll transfer to a new school. And we'll just keep doing that until the dynasty ends in like 60 years. So I'll stay tuned for that. Um, th this is again, th this is a series idea first pioneered by Param Crow called Ultra Rebuilds. I just really like the idea and I'm um, trying it for myself for the first time hoping you guys like it so uh yeah anyways I'm just gonna we beat Arkansas I don't think we've lost since uh, that Georgia game actually so we might actually be ranked coming into week eight but we'll see that in a second a lot of people ready to visit or locked us out five consecutive wins and school record pat five pass touchdowns in a game we're ranked 13 yeah, the SEC bias is going wild right now, bro. Now he can fully scout players. So, uh, we're in league for Marvis Franklin. In the league for Eric Williams. Le'Veon locked us out. That's cool. Brandon Jackson locked us out. Fun. We're only barely losing out on Evan Brennan. Isaiah Igabusa. We're losing out on him too, right? No, because he went to a scout, uh, went to a visit with Bowling Green. He visited during Florida. Hopefully I haven't uh, locked me out by them, but you know. Here we were going to put a whole 500 in. Scott Wynn, I'm going to go in on. I actually don't look that bad of a quarterback. Uh, also, running back maybe? Definitely not really a good receiver. So yeah, either quarterback or running back. 6-5. Yeah, 6-5 six, five. Six, five running back. I like the idea of that. Go 500 into Cooper. I think I'm just going to... Oh yeah. Kind of need to kick her too. And Isaiah Morgan will go 500. What what are these? What the fuck is this shit? Um, I I guess I just offer scholarships and just kind of hope and pray. I'm not the best when it comes to recruiting. No, Ferentz went to fucking Texas. Weird. Gonna dip back into the low lock shit and see if there's anyone. Fuck it, I'll go after a couple three stars. Can't really be choosy right now, man. Zeke Van Leeuwen. Too bad we don't really need him. 
Oh, Thomas DeCuson. Schaefer. Loki kind of probably need a receiver. Man, there's like no one good here. But I also know that our team is not going to be very good. Alright, we'll, we'll try and Christian Bueller. Seems like a strong boy. He's an, Excuse me. He's an 83. You're a bust. You're a terrible bust. Not bad. Alright. And you're terrible. Mm -hmm. So for this week, we'll put 115 to Christian Bueller. And we'll come back next week and we barely beat Tennessee 27 to 24. Why are so many of these games close? I don't like it. I'm glad that we're winning, but I don't like it. And I don't like the fact how close the games are and the fact that we're winning. Love that we're winning because there's no incentive to losing like there is in the NFL. Alright, let's look at this shit. Why does no one want to come to South Carolina and be a cock? This is bullcock. Whatever, I won't come in versus fucking Vandy next week. Let's advance to week 11. After that Vandy game, we beat Missouri 56 to 24. Let's go. That was probably one of the tougher games on our schedule. Obviously, just glad that we got it fucking done. Then Vandy, hopefully, hopefully we just blow out 52-36. Don't like how many points our defense let up, but 52 points is always good. And especially with all the recruits we had coming in last week. Or well, that week, whatever the fuck. It means that once we uh, get off the screen, we should see a bunch of yellow. From all of them coming in. Let's go, we got Marvis, we got Eric, and we got Evan. Not nearly as much as I thought. Look at all those fucking records we're breaking, by the way. Fortunately, Morgan locked us out, and so Scott. I literally have like no one else to go for, so I'm just gonna like fill up my board again with like random athletes maybe. Right, five the like low lock fucking athletes, let's go. <laughs> Jalen Reed is a bust. Jabari Garmin is a bust. This dude terrible anyways. This dude's the only good one. Honestly, what does he do well? He's a corner. That's what he does well. You, decent quarterback, nothing special. Garmin, the rest of y'all is trash. Y'all trash. Again, what makes you special? What about the players that are still interested in us? I mean, I guess. Raymond Page Moss. I mean, it's probably not good. Oh, hey, there's a punter interested in us. Could use that. Is there a kicker? Actually, yeah, Malamua. It's just kind of seeing if anything sticks with any of these guys. He goes up to a 91. Okay, then. 91 overall kicker? Eh. 47 overall L. James Nelson's height though. Let me check if uh we have any visits because I'll probably schedule them just for Florida. Or we'll do that. <laughs> so let me try my coach points again. That real treatment. Oh wait, that just gave me 500 extra. That's right. Right now I put 500 into you. And then 50 into Devin Daniel. Or Devon. Or Davin. Alright, let's into the end of the year. And Hope we beat Florida. That's all I'll say. This Florida game is a big game. And we win 31 17. Let's go. Is this Texas type playbook the fucking glitch? Literally, our only loss so far is the fucking Georgia back in week two. That's scary. And we lose to Texas. How? There goes our fucking, fucking uh, national championship fucking goal. Oh, and Clemson's rank seven, by the way. And we beat them, but we can't beat fucking Texas. Sorry. Right. We have a finalist for the Heisman and Coach of the Year. What the fuck? And we're in the conference championship. How? Ha how? Wrong place. Florida 10 and 2. But I guess since they lost us, we got tiebreaker. What? Honestly, I still am in the wrong place because I'm stupid. So yeah, we got tiebreaker over them. Georgia lost twice in conference. What? Who the fuck did you lose to? Lost to Texas as well. Him, and lost to Missouri and Florida. What the fuck? Then Arkansas winning in the West. The West was just shit. <laughs> so Arkansas beat Oregon State, lost to Oklahoma, beat Florida, lost to Washington, which everyone did, lost to us by four, lost to Missouri or Ole Miss, Barber, and then beat Southern Miss 61. Yikes. Well, wow. he was on the Heisman watch. Spencer Rattler. We actually are making Spencer Rattler good again. Six touchdowns against Clemson. <laughs> ah! uh, remember when he was supposed to be so good for Oklahoma? And we beat Arkansas in the conference for 921. 
This ain't our team though, so I'm not gonna. I don't really care about the fucking bowl game. I just find it funny. Rattler got third. Blake Corum though, like he usually does in these. And they're putting us against Tulsa in the Sugar Bowl. Should be a fucking cakewalk. Get rid of should though. We lost by a point to Tulsa. What the fuck? Like what the fuck? Game's rigged. Rattler shatters the fucking school passing touchdown or passing yards and passing touchdowns. Holy shit. Over double. Actually, not over double. By one. These Alshon Jeffries fucking. Yeah, our offense was just on another level in terms of fucking passing. Oh, look at that. 7, 6, 4, and 8, 2, and 8, 7, and 6, 5, and 7, 11, and 3. 56 touchdowns and 19 picks is a bit scary. Rushing 200. Yeah. 1,800 fucking receiving yards for Wells. 24 touchdowns. <laughs> Defensively, 9 out of 6, 6 and a half, 5 and a half. Not bad. 5 for Old Donnell Fortune. Or Old Donnell? What name? Anyways, yeah. And when leaving, no. Nick, we need you. Stay and work my way onto the field. I told you. You as well. You, you're needed. Fuck you, Vicari. Your spot's taken already anyway, bitch. Anyone want to transfer in? Alright, let's see what we have on the recruiting board. Really? Just want Fueler, Farst, and the kicker. So, gonna go about 2,500 into the kicker. Eh, 3k. About 5k into Bueller. I honestly don't even remember what Farst is. Now we'll do 5,500. We'll do... A lot, uh, about 1200 in team and the rest into Salier. Then just see where that leads us. Hopefully, we get all three. But also, this is a really shit fucking recruiting board. Also, also, this is Fang's recruiting mod. That's why we're able to get 91 fucking kicker and why everyone was shit or really good. <laughs> like, dropping like. Alright, so we got the kicker, we got Beeler, and we got Farst. We didn't get Salier, which is whatever. We also got Devon Daniel, which is the punter. Got Quantas Clark. Hell yeah. Now let's look where the class landed us. 31st. Not the best out of the SEC. Florida did better. Mississippi, Georgia, Arkansas. Okay. In terms of SEC, we were pretty bad. But still, A. I like the players we got. As a rookie, Destin is an 88. And the best player on the team. Also, these are your quarterbacks for this year. I have Doty and Sellers. And Bailey, Bailey and Gal Colton Gaultier. Then Farst. The one fucking athlete we got when you're six one, go play safety. Brennan, you're gonna be our outside linebacker. Yeah, also just so we have some sort of depth there. Hell yeah, this team's gonna be fucking stacked. Oh, Isaiah White's a Juco. Ah, that's fine. I mean, he's not fast. Hell, our, ta our tight end's almost as fast as him. Now, well, I will meet you guys for season two. Alright. First of all, let's look at rest hurting. Meh. Don't really care about the running backs, to be fair. My receivers kind of all have to play. Frankly, you kind of do have to pay. Play. Blah, blah, blah. I can't speak sometimes. A lot of time. I blame the gum in my mouth and the gum in my mouth. Cooper is going to get fresh. <laughs> Can I fucking speak, please? Bueller, you're going to get red shirted. Lafayette, you're getting red shirted. Farce, you're getting red shirted. Now let's look at this recruiting board for the upcoming season. For this, hopefully it's not as bad. But well, all off the board, we have three fucking five-star athletes that are interested in. And a five-star receiver, alright, I like this already. And another five-star blocking tight end. And a five-star QE scrambler, oh hell yeah. I'm already more excited this year. Four-star D-end, tackle, another D-end, don't really need tight end though. So really, I'm just gonna look at, L at sellers and then be done, you know? Three-star center won't be terrible, hopefully. Another three-star right, fullback. Offensive line, I usually ignore. Just personally, I don't know why. I don't do it on purpose. Another Dan and D tackle. Let's look at corner. Couple three-stars in there. Can't hurt. Um, 
Outside linebacker. If possible. Todd Dean, maybe. Oh, a couple four star li middle linebackers. Alright. Dean, you're out of here then. Uh, just because you're short and you're the first on the board done. You're not. Yeah. Those are the 20 we're going to be starting out with. Now let's actually recruit. Uh, scout them. Holy brain. These athletes are already looking good right off the jump. Nah. No, no one's been a bust yet. I mean, yeah, they're not necessarily the best. 76 fullback, by the way. Okay, Alex Brown is like the worst. And he's just kind of average across the board. Anthony Parker. See, no, no one is bad here. What do I do? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'll do this, then check out the schedule. Check out the schedule, and then, yeah. Notre Dame, Auburn, Kentucky, Arkansas. Wyoming, Clemson. Not Texas this year, which is nice, but also no less scary. I'm so on the way, I'm spending my LC and DC boosts, but you know. Now our offense should be even better, defense should be a little better. Improvement. That's what it should all be about is improvements. Now let's look at how we're going to spend these points. Alright, so 500 into each of these athletes, or 600 even, pardon me. Maybe about 115 to Hines, because there's a chance any of these can be receivers, I honestly don't remember looking at their stats. I will go 400 into the QB. He is a bit shorter, only 511 though, so... It is what it is. You will go 350 in. Matt Todd will go 350 in. Competing with a bunch of Big Ten schools, and then Auburn. Parker will go 350. And then the two cornerbacks here go 400 each. You will put full six in. You will put full six in. And that still leaves 1,100 left. You all just put five. You all put 50. Brian will put f like 100. McDonald will put like 150. Miller will put like 1. Hundred sellers will do three. Actually, I guess the rest goes on Heinz. Five forty-five. I don't mind it. I don't mind a one beat, and uh, we'll send to the storage game. See how we do against Notre Dame. That wasn't even close. Forty-eight to seventeen. Offense left off. It's starting right back up where I left off last year. All right, let's look at our actual overall. So we come in as 90, 90, 88 which is still worse than Georgia. Let's see. Um, rec uh, visits. No one's ready for a visit yet. All right, we're losing on sell sellers. It's whatever. We're losing on Miller. Again, that's kind of whatever. McDonald. Don't like that. We're losing on uh, both of them. Ah shit. Losing on a bunch of defensive players. All right, you're only getting 102 Carter, and we'll do 50. Those right back into let's see 76. Alright, let me divvy this up and I'll be back. Alright, so I, so, so I divvied up the points and got rid of a couple players that, after second review, looked worse than some of the others that were at the same position. So then I started to pump more points into the ones that were at the same position. Luckily, we're not down by over a thousand on anyone yet, so it's always good. And um, we'll send to this week six game against Kentucky, where we lose by only 18 this year to Georgia. Still have yet to beat Georgia, though, which sucks really does and we get blown out by auburn what the fuck this ain't going so good let's see what this is looking like now okay this is more promising go six into the hind now i just need to cut off sellers like i said it didn't matter if we got them or not but it would have been nice and we'll drop down to just five points on mcneil don't know if we're gonna get i'm just cutting both of my both of them off davis will pump 600 Parker locked us out, that's cool. And we're gonna probably lose out on Brown. I don't care, I'm offering scholarships to everyone now. Then I'm gonna hop in low lock, and I'll be back. Gone ahead and add a couple more players, and uh, yeah, hopefully they're a bit good. Okay, a lot better. Yeah. Jamal Dawson, no. Brad, Ryan, yeah, not terrible. As you can see, I'm trying to really like go after linebacker. And all these guys are just kind of shit. Fortunately, how it goes sometimes. Right, so now I'll view to who's better. You're worse. 93 speed. Great zone. Pretty good man. You're getting six. I mean, not terrible. Uh, Mike Thibodeau. 
will drop 250 into you. Josh Espinosa will drop 2 or 175. And we'll drop 150, and then 25 into Palmer. Palmer's one I really didn't like. As you can see, it was already scaled beforehand. I didn't like him because his finesse moves are so shit. But I kind of just want players. <laughs> I'm probably meet you back at like week 10 or so, and we'll see how we're doing. Alright, so we haven't lost again, we're 4-2, you know, right in the thick of things at the, in the SEC. How's my, how's my favorite players doing? Alright, I'm dropping, like, everything but like 5 from McNeil. Same with you, RJ. And you too, Nick. And you too, Chad. Or Brad, pardon me. And you as well, Josh. And Ronald. This is my way of getting my points back. And then we'll drop down to 200 on you. Put 5 on you. Keep that on Andy. Yeah, those look fine. Put 100 back into Curtis. And into Roger. Are we able to get back in you? Eh. Probably. Probably for both of them. You know, fuck it. Then we'll just send to the end of the season. And then we'll just kind of see. Starts off with the win against Missouri. Nice. Lost by 10 to Florida. 56 to 46. What the fuck? 50 to 53 against Clemson. Jesus. Still in recruiting battles? Jesus. So how's our team this year? I don't know, actually. Went 7 and 5. Didn't even beat Clemson, which is always sad. First in Iowa. Now you know this is about to be one side. And it ain't gonna be Iowa, because Iowa's about to put up like five points, and we about to put up 30. Hopefully. Or their defense just stops us, who knows. We won 35-23. More points than Iowa normally puts up, to be fair. But still, a win is a win. And this is why the SEC is just better than the, AC, than the Big 12, 10, 16, 30, whatever the fuck. Just breaking receiving touchdown and receiving yard directors across the NCAA. And Doty threw for 60 passing touchdowns. Jesus. Does this seem somehow like better on offense than last year? It's what the fuck? <laughs> no, that's fucking great. I know we're getting a contract extension. Don't let them know that we're going to be transferring next year. Holy shit, Luke. 5,100 yards, 60 touchdowns to 8 picks. This is the fucking thumbnail right fucking year. Like, I know I just turned my fucking face cam off, but like, that's a better year than fucking Rattler had last year, Jesus. And he also led team rushing, which is whatever. 2,100 yards. As a redshirt freshman. I told you, Nick, there's a good, there's a good reason why I told you to stay. I wasn't lying to you, like I normally do. Defense did defense things. Brennan actually went off as a true freshman, in terms of like tackling and shit. Oh, the now fortune again. DQ'd. Defense came to fucking ball. This team fucking teabagged the rest of the fucking league. Right. Now let's check out the players leaving. No, no. You're not declaring, and you're definitely not fucking declaring. Oh, well, you're not declaring anyway because you're a freshman. Jeremiah Lafayette, bitch. Actual fucking bitch. Any transfer requests? Probably. Not. Just didn't let me finish. I was just a bit slow and forget what the word not is. Obviously. Alright, let's see who survives till the end. Davidson, you're getting like 1,500. Michael Smith, you're getting about 1,500. Pretty much all the way down to Nick Whitfield. Hines, you're getting about 15. Davis, you're getting 15. That This is literally like the most even spread of points that I, can, that I want to do. Whitfield, you're getting about 1,000. There's a method up here to my madness, alright? Brooks, you're getting 800. James, you're getting 5. Thibodeau, you're getting... 2k 
Eh, yeah, you're getting 1500. No? Hmm. You can play defense. You can't be not on the same level as fucking Michael Smith. And Whitfield, you're just good. Then Davis and you're getting the rest. And then Davis, we're just keeping it with you. It's like the most spread out of my points I've ever had. On like 10 different players. So hopefully it all works out. We'll say though, this recruiting cycle went a lot better than last year's. We got none of them. Huh? I don't understand how we got none of them. That... That hurts. It's bullshit. <laughs> Did get an 80 overall f freshman athlete though. Corner? Hell yeah. Look at this corner room, man. We did get Nick Wilfield and we did get Brad Hudson. Of course, we didn't get any defensive linemen. Offensive line, though, looking half decent. Ignore the walk ons, but it's fine. Franklin coming in as tight end, too, is what it is. Then here's our new go to quarterback. I also might redshirt these two. Now, I like Colton play. Oh damn. Yeah, I'm gonna red shirt McNeil. Yeah. The Zyke. Gonna look at training results and then I'm gonna end the video. 95 overall as a sophomore. Oh yeah, I like this. Bailey is gonna be our quarterback one this year. Coming in with 84 throw power, 83 accuracy. So honestly, I might I might just start sellers. Because Celis is just better. And, uh, yeah. 290 plus receivers. We've got this. We've got this. We're starting out ranked 23 as well. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this. Bit of a longer one, maybe. Eh. I, I like being a little more in-depth. I, I, I feel like it helps me get to know the players better that we're actually bringing in. And also helps you guys keep track of them. If you do want me to shorter, shorten the videos, let me know. Anyways, Mike Dale started saying peace and have a good one. And I'll drop part two of this in a couple days. Maybe by weekends. We weeks end. I can't speak like usual. Anyways, I'll see y'all next time. Deuces.